Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas is one of my favorite movies. It's also really faithful to the Hunter Thompson novel that it's based off of, but upon closer examination, I realize there's actually a lot more to it than just a story of a couple of guys going wild in Las Vegas. It also tells the story of two men trying to rediscover their sense of freedom in the American dream. The whole film is actually littered with metaphors about fascism and totalitarianism, and characters in it frequently explore the notion that America had become such a government among other things. And the fact that Thompson even chose to explore all these concepts through a series of drug binges with the world's greatest lawyer. As your attorney, I advise you to take a hit out of the little brown bottle. Tells us something interesting too. Thompson would have been 34 at the time that the book was published. Well past the age of your normal moody rebellious teenager. The fact that an adult with a career feels the need to rebel at all kind of paints the picture that he might actually be right. 